the government of China has confirmed seven cases to us. And um, for those seven cases, there are approximately 160 contacts, yes, that are being followed. Um, the exact number of contacts, you know, you can't go down to the single contact. But yes, we say around 160 contacts for seven confirmed cases. Um, we do uh, expect there, uh, we would say that the, that the chance of there being more cases is, is moderate to high. Um, we know even of uh, news reports of two additional cases in, a, in, a, in Zhejiang, so a different location. Those have not been officially confirmed to us yet, but yes, um, there are reports of these cases, and you would expect more cases to occur. We have seen no evidence so far of human-to-human -human transmission. Um, we believe that the virus, this H7N9 virus, has mutated to a form which makes it easier to infect humans, and that's obviously why we're seeing cases now. But whether they are infected from an environmental source or from other humans is still an open question. What we do know is that all seven confirmed cases are unlinked. There is no epidemiological link between the cases. So they are what we would call the patients, they're sporadic cases of infection. They're not linked. Challenges in these countries, and what will WHO... We're a long ways away from thinking about a pandemic. We've only had, as I say, seven confirmed cases with a couple of other reported cases and no evidence of human-to-human -human transmission.